Welcome to our most recent installment of the Coyle Cassidy High School first class training tutorials. This tutorial was created in response to a complaint I'm getting from a large number of faculty. It seems to be a common question as to why is it there are so darn many places to look and I can't stand it. I never know where to look. All right. I think that's basically a communication problem that I've had, but it's also a lack of understanding of what first class really is. All right, so there are three basic places, or actually four basic places you need to look. The rest of it is just fun stuff. All right, now you see the mailbox here. I click on the mailbox, and actually, if you look in your inbox, I'm going to open that up. This is your basic email, all right? And think of this as email. Typically, though, stuff here is stuff that comes from one individual to another individual. Okay, stuff from parents, stuff from my wife, stuff from other teachers. So for instance, like for instance, a good example would be when Carol Mecca asked people, you know, let me know if any of the following students are having problems. That should be an individual communication. You should always respond to something like that as an email, not by putting in a container. All right, you don't want to let the world know that you're having trouble with Johnny Jones. All right, so email, individual communications with other faculty goes there. That's individual. These other containers, though, are for group communication, right? And there are actually three that you have to be aware of. There's the CCHS critical news, all right? And the word critical is unfortunate because I think it makes people think that it's somehow more important. It's not more important, it's more urgent. It's something that you don't know about that you need to know about. All right, for example, when the Haitian relief thing happened, Mary Pat put something up because it was something new out of the ordinary and she needed to let everybody know about it. If a teacher or a child's parent dies and we need to let people know about it and get arrangements, it's something that doesn't quite reach the level of perhaps going out to um, school link, but is important that you know about autom automatically. If, say, for instance, they have to have a meeting after school tomorrow because of some incident that occurred over the weekend, that would go in critical news. Now. Other things that you need to put in here. You see where it says CCHS News. I'm going to open that up, and we put a lot of different things. The CCHS coverages thing is just Kathy, with something Kathy Legan is doing for me, but it's something you could also do. For instance, if you notice CCHS coverage, if you happen to be the person out, this is a good way of finding out who covered your classes for you. All right? So that, I think, was helpful, and I'm glad she put it there. I'm using it so I can keep track of who's being pulled from my um, um, tech training thing. Now, the thing that's in here that is very important is CCHS announcement. Now, to drag something on the desktop, it's very important. You should have none of them selected. So the best way of doing that is to click on the, the white in the background. Then you hold down the shift key, click on the thing, CCHS announcements, and drag it onto the desktop like that and let go. All right. Now, that will be things that are important announcements that come from the administration but are not necessarily things you weren't expecting. For example, pink slips will be due on February blah, 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 blah. Or vacation is going to be this and such a day. Please have all your, this in. All right, those are the kinds of things, administrative kind of details that people need to know about. All right, and that's important. That is also something, if a little red flag shows up there, you want to check it. If you have a whole bunch of red flags, suppose you look at something and say, yeah, I know all about that. I don't want to open all of these things to read it. What I'm going to suggest is if you know what all of these things are, you're not necessarily, and you haven't read them all because you knew what they were and you knew they didn't apply to you, I strongly recommend anyway you drag across and highlight them all and then mark them as red. Okay? And the reason I suggest that is so that you'll be notified when something new comes into this. Okay? Now, finally, the final thing that you always want to check is in the CCHS teacher's container, and it's this one that's indicated as CCHS resources. Now, again, you deselect, you click Shift, you click on it, and I'm going to drag it onto my desktop and let it go. All right. Now, I'm going to suggest that you might want to uh, look at the properties of this and change the icon to something that's a little bit more dramatic, something that says teachers to you. Um, here's one with a couple of people shaking hands. I'm going to make that my icon. Okay, but that just tells me that this is news that's coming from other faculty members that was important enough to send to the entire faculty. Now, we're all going to Curly's uh, for dinner after school tomorrow. Probably doesn't belong here. This should be for curricular things or co-curricular things. Uh, Tom Pileski wants to let everybody know that the golf team will be leaving early. Um, the uh, Kathy Edlin is going to be taking the kids to a French restaurant, okay, and the following kids. Um, so a curricular or co-curricular kind of thing that everybody needs to know about. Steve Devaney, for example, with his NHS, um, 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 Carol Mecca with the Drama Club. 
Now I'm going to click on this and I want to show you what's in here. Uh, I do want to point out the little penguin. If you do have a technology problem, report it through there. But I want you to notice that this is actually relatively clean. The reason is, is I've asked people to go in and once something becomes old, you should delete it. Okay. Now, for instance, Human Awareness Day is still coming up, but once Human Awareness Day has occurred, I'm going to ask, um, I believe it's Mary Haynes who was the original poster, to highlight everything and delete the things that no longer belong there. Actually, this form is mine. All you have to do is highlight it, hit delete, and it will go away. All right. You can delete your own things, but you can't get rid of stuff that other people have. And that was another major complaint that people had, is that things were showing up and they can't get rid of them. So I'm going to hit delete, Okay, and there you go. So that basically is what you need to know. Please try to clean up your desktop, put all the important stuff here, and you really only have four places to check. I do understand that's more, but keep in mind that things have been pre-sorted for you, so it makes it a little bit easier in some ways to keep track of what you need to look at.